Hello, and welcome to my first draft. My name is Palvat. Uh, I've been playing Eternal since closed beta. Uh, I took a break towards the end of set one because it got pretty boring. Um, I love drafting. It's my favorite thing to do. I hope to record a lot of these and put them up for people to watch. All right, so let's get started here. Well, this card is great. I think just three, three life links, life steals are are, are generally good. It's, it's good with uh, a lot of the black um, life force cards, and I, I've been really liking Argent Port in this format. I think it's it's my favorite. Uh, I I've been doing the best with it, so I don't want to say it's the best but it, I like it the best um, so other cards here uh, mortar which is okay puts us in two different things which is eh. um, hubbug swarm which is good this is seems decent I've, I've tended to like it and th this card seems all right I, I haven't had a chance to play with it yet but I'm gonna pick this and uh, be happy with it Ooh, that's a good card to uh, Spirit Guide. Here are the, the choices. There's a lot of choices here. Uh, so I like this card okay. I think it does good work in a Mentor deck. Uh, it'd be great with this card, obviously. Uh, this card's all right as well in the Mentor deck. Um, it's a 3-3 body. Uh, this card, this card's pretty good if you're in Xenon. Uh, this card's done all right too. This card is great. Uh, I can stay open though. I, I like this card enough. This card is really good. Um, I've yet to draft Combre. Hmm. It's between these two for me. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay open and pick that. And. This card is awesome, and I didn't get to pick it. But, so, uh, we got a pretty nice little uh, aggressive start here. So I do like this in this deck here. Uh, Sand Viper is good. It's, it's done a lot of work for me, and it's been great. Um, this card's all right. Uh, I, think I, I think this is the pick. As an early, just, you know, kill a stranger, kill, you know, a sand viper. It, it does a lot of good things in the format. I'll take it. Wow. Another humbug swarm. Um, so that or the architect, which I've been very impressed with. It's just like an Aegis guy. And, you know, given something relevant with Aegis, seems good. Humbug swarm is really good, though. Hmm. I could... Uh, I mean, it's it's good enough. It's between these two. This card's been very good as well. If I want to go Arjaport, but I don't have I have that. But I, I think this is slightly better in this deck. And this card is it just seems very powerful. So just make three one one bodies, you get unlock potentials, you get you know, even the pack hunt maybe. Um I have yet to draft Combre. I could uh, I think this is safer. I don't know. It probably was the pick there. Uh okay, well here's a jack knife which I think is could be really good. This uh two four flyer is decent. It's good to mentor some stuff, but uh that yeah. I'm gonna pick this and see if Ooh, this was huge. So this, this card's very strong, I think. It, it does a lot of work with your life force stuff. Um I think this is a good sign that uh Shadow is open this pack, because I think this card is is pretty good. Does a lot of work, and uh, various choices very good too. But I think that card 
could be good. And here we go. There's a late Xenon card. Um, when Battle Tested Stranger has been excellent. Uh, hmm. I think this might be the pick. This card's quite good too, though. Could be going like a uh, Combrazinen between these two. Uh, I think this is more upside. Wow, this is this is a good late pick. I, I could be going into Xenon Life Force here. Uh, Black seems not that open. I could still be Combre, even though I passed a lot of good Combre-ish cards. Uh, here, this card is the best card in the pack for sure. I don't think I'm playing it. I guess I'll take this. I don't really like it. Um, yeah, sure, this, this card uh, is pretty good. Um, bad, uh, trick. Uh, the first pack was all right. It's not the best. There's some interesting cards. Grassman Shadows is okay. Um, if I'm going Combre, Crown Watch Calvary is very good. Even like if I don't go Combre, maybe go um, Huru. Uh, I think this is the pick. Grassman Shadow is okay. I don't have any huge things. I mean, this is all right, but if I get that late, it's an eh. Um, False Prince is very good. Uh, I, I think this is the pick, and maybe we'll go into it. All right, so Crown Watch Paladin is pretty good with strength on the many. Uh, I could, you know, maybe Jack's Knife it. It could still be Arjun Port. I, I think it's quite good in Argent Port. I'd like to pick up some of those. The two drop that Mentors gives plus one, plus one. Uh, I'll pick this and see where we're at here. Now there's another two drop. Uh, there's, a, there's a good Dispel card here. There doesn't seem to be... Combre seems okay, but I think I'll pick the Minotaur Grunt. It's just like a War Crier. Well, there's the unlock potential. Now I, I regret passing those, but here is a nice execute. Um, I think these, the black, you know, kill spells, even though it's conditional, I think they've gotten a lot better um, with this format change. I'm going to pick it. Even though they are really good before, I, I think those are really good. I, I like Crown Watch Longsword a lot in this stack right now. I got some early stuff. I got some pretty good targets for it. There's an Awakened Student too. Wow. I could have had a really good um, Combre deck here. But I could still take it. I could splash. Or I could just... Yeah. Let's see how my fixing shows up. And here's another Stranger that... Benef that was that paid off for that pick here. Uh, I'll take it and see where we can go with it. I I could be splashing black, which I, just for execute ish style cards. Um, I'll take the one drop here, just uh, in case I get any of those mentor cards. Man, I really regret not taking those humbug swarms now. Uh. Could take the one drop just in case, you know, something to um, mentor. Um, I guess I'll take that. Oh, there's, there's a late rebuke. That's pretty good. All right, sure. And that. Yeah, this deck isn't going as well as I'd like it to. Here, we're not picking up anything great. Uh, let me just clean up this deck here and see where we're at. I think I want Strangers. So this card actually could be a real consideration. I have two very good Strangers here. It is green. 
I think it might be the pick, actually, believe it or not. There's another one of these is okay. That's okay. I think that I like this. Um, we're still waffling between shadow and time and uh, I mean shadow is really not great right now that's not great I really think I'm Combre here which it's okay we're gonna extract which it's probably the best card in the pack well that card seems really good too but it's the best card for me. Hmm. Envelop has been actually all right. Uh, it, it leads to some blowouts. I think I'm going to take the extract. I'm kind of in a rough spot here, so that's all right. But here we get, we get some decent cards here. So I have a lot of two drops. Uh, I like a four mana beater in the stack. I, I think. I think it's pretty good, especially with like these. Wigan Student Late was really good, and I think I think we are calm right now. Um, which is okay. Uh, so here, there's a, that guy, which is okay. This is pretty good. Not great. It's been all right so far. Uh, this is okay, too. So I think it's between these three, and that card is, is probably the best out of the three, but not really in this deck. I don't think I'm going to be splashing that. Hope, hopefully, uh, I hope to splash that, because I, I think this deck does need something like that. Um, this Chrome Watch Squire, kind of weak. Uh, it's between these two, I think. Uh, just like so mediocre I guess I'll take that but all right all right um, that seems like a good card this is a pretty good card as well got a lot of weapons here I could take the Xenon banner which I do need a lot or Xenon stranger which is better probably in the in the banner um, I think that might be the pick here because it gives me Stranger for these guys. And Splash is black for me, which I, I do want to do. I think Execute is going to be good enough for me to Splash. And here we can take this like 5-5. Five, five, which, this deck is kind of lacking like a end game like that. It has, you know, good mid game. This, I don't even know if I want to play this. It could... Skeeter has always been great. I think people should value it more than where it is there. Um, I've been liking this card, but not in Combre. I mean, what else is there, though? Stranger. Okay. Ugh. All right. Hmm. Here at this point, I don't think I'm playing any of these. I could like, start taking my play sets of stuff. Yeah, I think this is the best card to complete your play set of. Out of those, sure. And, sure. And, okay, something. Well, okay, so Torn Warden's alright. I have a few weapons here. I, well, I have one. I took that stranger pretty aggressively. I don't think I'm playing extract. Ravenous Thorn Beast has been excellent. So here's a choice between Bright Maze Paladin and Throne Warden. I kind of like Bright Maze Paladin a little more, but Throne Warden does seem great. I only have one five. It's a nice little four drop. Hmm. I think I do like splashing this amethyst ring, by the way, with uh, double of those, which I think I would like to play. So it's between these two. 
This guy's been really good as well. I really like Arjun Port. <laughs> I've been, I really wanted to draft it this game. I was kind of forcing it, but... Uh, so, okay, so it's between Paladin and Throne Warden. Throne Warden's a better target with our 3-drop Lifelinker. Lifestealer. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll take the Throne Warden. I think it has more upside. Ooh, Hammer of Might. It's very strong. Okay, well, that's a pick, and no questions, and so forth. Wow. Uh, Teleport's good interaction. I think that this deck does need some interaction. I have Rebuke. Hmm. I do want, I do like Black Stranger or Shadow Stranger. Uh, I'm going to take a Teleport because I think this deck is lacking some kind of little interaction there in that end. Uh, so it's between Valkyrie Aspirant and nothing else. And Aspirant isn't even that great. It wears weapons okay. Armorsmith's not what I'm looking for. I guess I'll take that. I'm not really getting paid off by the Combre, but you know, Finest Hour is quite good. I wish I, I wish I did have that three drop now, but yeah, I'll take Finest Hour. It's a good trick. And another two drop or Synchronized Strike. This deck. Could use something like that. There's a that's a nice splash card as well. Now my whoop um my strangers are not great. <laughs> I don't have any black or uh, besides that one. Hmm. <laughs> um another good two drop or synchronized strike. I do have. It's, I don't even want to play that, to be honest. Stack is looking pretty low curve. I think the two drops better though. And although I do like synchronized strike, I think in this deck, but I think I just want two drop. Uh, I'll take the tower top patrol. It does work in the skies and. It's good. Um, here's really nothing we want, so I guess I'll just whatever. There's rebuke, which I could play. I could tempo some people out. I have a pretty good little tempo engine in this deck. Mm. So here we are. Um, yeah, the first thing I do is just clear it all out and build the deck that I like, and see if I need to cut or anything. So, we're not playing red, we're not playing blue. Cards I like. Hmm. So, these are good. Four drops, teleport, changer, which is good. One five, that's good. Humbug, I guess I'll throw in there, but not the best. I'll well, play these two. Here's the finest hour. This didn't really get as where I wanted it to be. Alright, uh, yeah, I like both of these. I think that I could have a pretty decent tempo deck here. Green is quite strong. This is cute. I don't have a ton of weapons, though. This card could be good. It's just as like a beater, you know, like a teleport, stun, or something. Yeah, it could be okay. And there's a flyer, because this deck is lacking some flyers. That's great. Um, question is, do I like splashing these? They're, all, they're cute. Or are they good? Is it worth it? I don't think it is. I didn't get any dual lands, dual power, or whatever. So, I think this is the deck I want to play. I would like to play 17 power, I think. Um, leaning towards green, because that's that's good reason to lean towards white. I don't think I like humbug. Twenty one units is a lot. I don't have a ton. 
interaction. And this this could be it right here. Um, I think this is it. Let's add power, and I think we want to go nine eight. Um, justice. And this is the deck. It's not the best, but let's see how it does.